point. And uh, all kinds of shit I can't explain, man. People look at it and they're just like, what the fuck is that? But guess what? Audio man Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, no doubt in my mind, dude. Yeah, that's working with it, I don't. Yeah, I got a uh, special way I do close and in the uh, reflector. And I will not put that over the air. But I got a, I got a special trick up my sleeve on closing up that reflector, man. Um, and yeah, you were absolutely right about how Moonraker designed their reflector. It was totally wrong, dude. It was. It was totally wrong. But, um, you know, like I say, if you come in Zam Talk, dude, look down below the video. There's, uh, there's a, uh, some information down below the video. And, um... It'll tell you how to get to my uh, my chat room there in Zam Talk. There's microphones and all that. You don't have to you don't have to type or nothing like that. You know you can just uh, grab a microphone and talk on it. But that's the way I do things, man. Ain't no doubt. Yup, yup. It's a matter of knowing and experimenting. That that's what I you know that's what I like about the hobby and uh, experimenting with antennas is what I've always done. And somehow I don't understand it, but I always make them better. I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth, man. I always take one antenna and I make it better than the one I made before. I've taken um, other antennas, you know, and made them better. You know, kind of like that um, that one that I helped uh, 144 with in the last two days. I mean, <laughs> he put that thing back up in the air, dude. Same exact height as he had it before. And all the, all the people down in Florida are like, man, that damn thing is talking bodaciously. And <laughs> it's just a little audio man trick that we did to it. Uh, what was that thing called? Um, I forget what he called it. It's got a hoop on it. Um, it was supposed to have a gamma on it, but it don't have a gamma on it. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, just a matter of knowing how to do this or that, dear Tempo. Right there. Yeah, there you go, man. There's a lot to it, man, and my ducks don't know. You know, you can't just get on a computer and use a ham uh, calculator or formula. You know, you got to know your wavelength to air. You got to know your wavelength to your conductors. You got to know your uh, electrical wavelength to the coax. Uh, you know, you got to you know what, what length of coax you need to, to tune the antenna so you can get true reflection back, or you're going to be blindsided, man. But there's a lot to it, but audio man, there's some others around this side town that uh, want to get in there and modulate, so I'm going to back on off this and uh, quit locking down the band, because I can. <laughs> audio man, until we do it again, your friend Frankenstein in the Midwest, I'll see you. All right, Frankenstein, take care over there, man. Been a pleasure, without a doubt. And uh, maybe we can pound brains together one dog on day or night there in Zandhawk. And uh, I'll give you a couple of my hidden secrets. Maybe you'll give me a couple of your hidden secrets. Ain't no doubt, because uh, that's what we do, man. I've been out here, you know, over 20 years doing what we do. So, you know, it is what it is, without a doubt. Just love messing with them antennas. Make them better every time around. <laughs> All right, Frankenstein, God bless you. Take care, man. Oh, audio man. Football Hall of Fame got down. Don't ever come in again, my friend. That's where I'll be. Audio man, Frankenstein, I'm back quiet.